Phoenix is a track with surprisingly uh, deep history in motorsports. You know, it was built initially for open wheels, Silver Crown, and, and Indy cars and so forth, long before uh, stock cars ever came there. The success of the Indy car races there helped sustain the facility and allowed it to grow into what it is today. It was a big deal for us to be able to go out there on the West Coast and, and and have success, have a successful event. The Phoenix area is a lot of fun. There's tons of stuff to go and do, and uh, I think the teams really enjoy the area, and, and um, that's a big bonus. We won a couple races there. I had like a string of very, very good events and fast cars, and took advantage of it. it seemed like there for you know a year or two, we, we just couldn't be beat there. We had won so many plate races that people were starting to think that that's all we knew how to do. So when we won anywhere but Daytona and Talladega, it was a real statement for us as a, as a team, for me as a driver, that I could do the job at any track if, you know, if, if given the right opportunity. So, and, and Phoenix is such a quirky, unique, little weird track that uh, you, you'd think that winning there, the driver has quite a bit to do with that. And, and the driver could take a lot of personal gratification out of, out of winning at a place shaped so oddly. Even through the reconfiguration of the racetrack and then another evolution of the track going on this year, it's still a track that I'll always feel fondly for because of the, the wins, because we did go out there and accomplish some pretty awesome stuff.